Thiazides are the most widely used class of diuretics. Thiazides are called that because they contain sulfur and are sulfonamide derivatives. They are known to be moderately potent diuretics. Thiazides are mainly used in hypertension treatment. They are either used alone or in a combination with ACE inhibitors. They are used in hypercalciuria as they reduce calcium ion excretion, benefiting patients with calcium oxalate stones in the urinary tract. So how do they work? Thiazides reduce water reabsorption in the nephron by inhibiting the sodium chloride symporter in the distal convoluted tubule. Normally, sodium and chloride enter the distal convoluted tubule cell through the symporter, then they get reabsorbed back into the bloodstream through sodium potassium ATPase channel and chloride channels. Thiazide block the symporter causing the sodium and subsequently water to get filtered into the urine, causing diuresis effect. Although the diuretic effect of thiazides is weak, thiazides cause vasodilation that helps reducing blood pressure. Unfortunately, the mechanism of the vasodilation is yet to be understood. Chlorothiazide is the first orally available thiazide diuretic. However, recently, new thiazide-like diuretics have been introduced like Chlorthalidone, which is a non thiazide that behaves pharmacologically like hydrochlorothiazide, with an advantage of long duration of action. Metolazone is another thiazide like drug that is more potent and, unlike thiazides, causes sodium excretion in advanced renal failure. The most side effects of thiazides are caused by electrolyte depletion resulting from prolonged use, like hypokalemia, hypochloremia, hyponatremia, and dehydration. Since thiazides are not metabolized and excreted unchanged in the urine, they cannot be given in patients with renal disease. Thiazides are contraindicated with digoxin. As a result of hypokalemia, the drug-drug interaction can result in cardiac arrhythmia. Furthermore, thiazides are contraindicated with drugs that cause fluid retention, such as corticosteroids and NSAIDs. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and tell me your suggestions for any future videos. And see you next time.